Hey guys, hi. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. If you've not been here before, if it's your first time visiting, welcome. I suspect there'll be a couple of newcomers only because the word Goodwill is in the title line. And I'll tell you, if you're anything like me, you see Goodwill, click. Um, I got to see. I got to see what you got. Uh, there's a sense of celebration. I love to celebrate when someone else finds something fantastic. Um, but there's also a sense of competition like, oh, man, you know, oh, I found this. You found that. And it's just it's just a sense of adventure. It's fun. Uh, so if you've not been here before, welcome. Uh, and if you're watching because you saw Goodwill, you're going to totally identify with what's going to happen in this video today. Uh, so I blame Tiffany on thrifting Vegas. She is a local to Las Vegas and uh, she goes to different Goodwills and she films herself going through Goodwill. Usually she focuses on hard goods like I do. And, um, you know, I would go to Goodwill, especially when I first got my condo here, just for odds and ends for the house. And then I started watching her videos and I'd say, wow, you know, I recognize that pattern or I've seen that before or I'd be in a Goodwill just on a whim and I'd see something that I, you know, and so she taught me a whole bunch of stuff. Now I have a problem. I'm at Goodwill all the time. I like to think I'm not doing heroin. So Goodwill, heroin, Goodwill, it could be worse, right? So um, I did open up my, reopen my eBay uh, selling page. I started doing that again. So I've got about 20 things listed so far and I'm gonna spend my next layover um, in Tampa just listing things. I've taken hundreds of photographs of these things and so I'm gonna spend my entire layover listing these new things I found on eBay. Just in case you've not been before or you're curious of what I found or what I'm going to charge for these things, um, I um, my uh, eBay handle name is uh, 12 Step Steven. So go check that out. But let's uh, dive into what I found at Goodwill. And I'll tell you the prices if I remember them. I did write some stuff down, but um, just for curiosity's sake. And maybe I'll mention what I might charge, but let's dive in first. I got this. I literally have a pile of things around. I feel like a Christmas tree surrounded by presents. All right, so first, I was obsessed with these things as a kid. I'll promise not to tell too many stories about the things I found, but this is one of those moving uh, waterfall things. It's got this little thing in the back, and it's actually quite realistic for what it is. Um, I paid $7.99 for it. And I've seen them online um, from anything from like 40 bucks up to like 80 or something. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna charge for it. It's just um, the moving water, there's no sound. But look, there's a little tent, which I think is kind of funny right back there. I love this thing. I was tempted to keep it. If it doesn't sell on eBay, I won't be heartbroken because I'll just keep it for myself. All right, so what else am I gonna show you? Uh -huh. um, wait. One sec. I started writing stuff down so I could make listing things easier on eBay. So I was going to follow along with what I wrote down. This is an, uh, an, a fairy lamp or an angel lamp by Indiana Glass uh, in its box. The box is kind of beaten up, but there is a base that looks very much like this where you put a votive candle in. I have to wash this. And then you put this on top and the whole thing kind of glows and lights up. I've been looking for one like this for myself. I was hoping for something in amber glass, but I found this um, at eBay and it's um, at uh, Goodwill in its box. And I paid for this $2.99. And I'm thinking of charging 20 bucks for it on um, eBay. Just think. This is so fun. I was walking out of the store when I saw it. It's a, a, a planter from Target. They came in uh, three different sizes. I don't know how much this originally cost, but I got it for $3.99. Um, and it's like the eight inch size. How sweet is that? I'm thinking of keeping it for myself and putting it on the mantle with a spider plant growing out of it like that. Wouldn't that be funny? Um, but they're kind of uh, all the rage on um, eBay. And I was thinking about $30. Um, on eBay for that one. <sighs> I don't know how I will ship this. I might keep it for myself. I don't think I'll ever use it, but I couldn't say no to it. <laughs> Look at the size. 
Look at the size of this planter. It is really beautifully painted. Isn't that great? Uh, it's by, uh, it's from William Sonoma. It's their Jardin Potager, whatever. Um, on eBay, these things are going for a ton of money. I paid $4.99 and I'm thinking of charging $65. Uh, and eBay uh, allows it to set up, automatically set up shipping. Shipping on something like this would be a monster, but um, it seems to be a very desirable piece. Look at the size of it. And it's in fantastic shape. There's no scratches or chips or anything. So I was, um, again, this is one that I almost didn't pick up, but I'm glad I did. And figure out how to make a clip here. This I might keep for myself. It's a pie plate, as you can probably tell. Uh, by Emil uh, Henry from Williams Sonoma as well. It's in beautiful condition. I love the color. And um, I, I mean, who doesn't need a good pie plate? So I might keep it for myself, but they sell quite well on um, on eBay. I forget how much. Oh, I guess I'd sell it for like 20 or $25. They're pretty, pretty popular, especially this classic size. On the theme of ceramics, this is temptations now i will admit i love i love the look of temptations and i'm a potter i make pottery but there's something just so sort of oh, i don't know what it is about temptations i love temptations this is their texas uh texas size uh muffin tin uh muffin round it's got a great little handle uh each of these little depressions is one cup um and this is in the confetti pattern i paid $5.99 for this uh, and they discontinue this they don't sell it anymore and I was guessing of selling it for well it go it, it sold for $25 on QVC I could sell it for 25 I might try to make a little bit of a profit on it but um, I might keep it for myself because I don't know I'm thinking spice cake or little carrot cake muffins in here and packing them away for layovers I don't know. This is one that I had to look up. This is by Daniel Hector, who apparently is a uh, designer, maybe a clothing designer, mostly known in Europe. I've never heard of him before, and I spent many years working at Neiman's and Saks. So, but this is a little tray, like a little valet tray. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the little details. Um, it's gorgeous. Now, online in Europe, this was selling for the equivalent of $125 on like a used... Uh, item place but i mean it's in perfect shape um here i'm not quite sure what i'm gonna get for it i was thinking of charging 65 uh it's just beautiful i thought when looking at it i thought it was hermes uh but um no it's daniel hector never heard of him hmm. there's a lot of pottery and ceramics in this video how fun is this look at this it's a funny face mug uh, there's a bunch of them on eBay and a bunch of them sold. Um, and that's actually one thing I, I didn't mention. When I'm at a Goodwill, um, I'll go in, look at anything I think is interesting, throw it in the cart. Don't let anybody else get a chance to take it from you. And then I'll find myself a quiet little spot. And there's an app on my, um, my phone's camera that's called Big Speed Photos or Big Speed Image or something. I just tap that, take a picture, and it will tell me a lot of information about the item I'm looking for so I can more accurately go into eBay and search with more accurate information rather than just like typing all sorts of random words. Uh, this, I forget the design, the uh, artist, she's prolific, making probably thousands and thousands and thousands of these. Um, I think this, it's signed and it's got her little mark right there. Uh, but um, I want to say this, these are like commonly $30, $35 on eBay, which... Um, seems pretty cheap for me for the work because I'm a potter. I know what she did to make this. Um, but there's so many of them, the prices can't be very high. But how fun is that? The teeth are bisque, are already fired and they stick it into the clay and then they'll fire it again so that they stay in there looking like real teeth. Isn't that crazy? All right. Um, more pottery. Ugh. I love this little pig. He's a piggy bank. And he is um hand thrown you can see the lines here um on the wheel using pretty rough stoneware see those speckles each of those speckles is a little lump of something very hard when that's spinning on the wheel i tell you it must rip off their fingertips uh but the cork comes out and look at the little eyes how cute 
I have no idea what I'll charge for him, but he's in fantastic shape. No chips, no cracks, nothing. Got the, the nice tightly fitting cork. No idea what I'll charge for him. He was probably $2.99. Um, that tray, that little horse tray, I think was $5. More pottery, more ceramics. This is a music box. Personally, I think it's kind of hideous, but it, a, a few pieces like this have sold on eBay. So I think I spent $8.99 on this, and it's a little um, music box. And it plays um, Love Makes the World Go Round. And it's got these little doves inside. Um, I have to get a little, give it a little wash down. Um, I have no idea what I'll um, charge for that on eBay, but that's something I won't be keeping. Let's see what else I have here. Hold on. This is kind of neat, uh, mostly because I'm a, I'm in, I live in Vegas, right? So there's a lot of collectibles from hotels and casinos here. This is one. It's going to be hard to capture on camera, but it's a. Oh, it's actually showing up pretty good. It's a. It's a vase. Or it could potentially be a drinking vessel because it does fit the hand, like a little, little hand grip kind of built in there. Uh, it's amber glass with this sword sticking out of the stone, Excalibur. Uh, and I want to say this is from like the 90s or something. It was 99 cents and then it was half off. So this cost me 50 cents. I have no idea what I'll charge for it. I wrote down uh, potentially $20 because... There have been a number of these sold. I look at the comps on eBay to see what people have paid. Um, what else? I have these little notes here. Let me look. Oh, yes. So, I found two of these. I'm um, thinking I'm going to try and sell one, and I'm going to keep the other one. The one that's in better shape, I'm going to try and sell. And this is a, um, a baking dish, a big... And I'll tell you, it feels like, I mean, it's almost sensual, the glaze. It's just beautiful. Uh, it's by, who is this? By Treasure Craft in their Mirage pattern. I paid $3.99 for that. And online, I'm seeing $25, $30, $40 uh, for these. So this is the one that's in better shape. Uh, the other one I have, oh, I have it right here, um, has a couple marks on the inside corners right here, which would hardly ever be sh seen by anybody, but these are fantastic. i got cat hair right on top of that. Um, so I got two of those. They were $3.99. I was going to buy one, but I'm like, ugh, why not buy both? <sighs> this is getting me winded. <sighs> I love this shirt, don't you? I think I got it at Goodwill. <laughs> I bought a bag, a little baggie. They have baggies all over. And there were like probably 50 of these little pins. It says Flash. I thought it was Flash as in the, um, the superhero. But I can't find anything that's similar to this image. So if you know what this, this is, if it's worth anything, let me know. But inside that bag was this pin, which I'm not sure if you can see it. But it's a, uh, a pin that someone who volunteered at the uh, PGA, the Pro Golf Association, like big game, whoever is a volunteer there in 2021 would have received this pin. I can't imagine it was, um, it was a, a bit of a rarity during a pandemic to have a pro golf tournament. Uh, so um, I looked up the comps for this pin, and for some reason, maybe I was being a little over ambitious, but I'm thinking I paid $2.99 for the whole baggie, and I'm thinking of charging $20 or $25 for this little pin. Um, we'll see what happens with that. No big loss if it doesn't sell. Looking at my notes, I think I'm going to charge $25 for that piggy bank. Uh, these I thought were very, very pretty. Um, they are swizzle sticks. Do you children know what swizzle sticks are? No, I don't know if you do. But swizzle sticks used to be something we all used in our cocktails back in the day. Uh, but these are by um, Waterford Marquis. Uh, but they're little glass swizzle sticks. And there's four of them in the package. Brand new. 
and they're all different colors. Very, very pretty. Um, I paid $1.99 for all four of them in their package. Uh, and it looks like, looks like the comps on eBay would support $40. So I'm thinking $35. $40. Um, I don't bother with putting low starts to my bids. I'm not going to bother with starting things at $1 and seeing if people fight for, you know, fight for things like we used to on eBay. I don't think people do that anymore. I mean, um, it's not fun to, um, I don't find it fun to sort of wait to see if someone's going to outbid me. I just want to buy the thing, you know, so I'm going to put down prices that um, <clears throat> people, I just, people expect to expect people to go click. I'll take it. All right, what else am I gonna show you? Oh, bummer. I see a chip on this plate that I did not see before, but I've got two more left. I might sell them, I might keep them. They're plates by a company called Syracuse China. I just love the color. Uh, it's restaurant wear. I had to do some Googling on Syracuse China. Um, online, I got I paid $1.50 per plate. I have three of them. Um, online, people seem to really like this, and and the color is apparently pretty rare. So, I'm gonna, I was thinking of charging thirty five for all three, but now I might just sell two. I might just keep them. I don't know. Uh, but those are cool. This is an ashtray from Disneyland. It's a, a vintage ashtray. There's a couple of these on eBay, and none of them are terribly expensive. I paid four ninety nine, uh, three ninety nine. Looking back, I probably think I paid too much for it, but it's Disney. I just grab it instinctively, whether or not people buy it or not. I don't know, but it's in great shape, made in Japan. This I bought. I don't think anyone's going to buy it. I'm going to list it on eBay. I don't think anyone's going to buy it. It's this little plate. How cute is this, right? Reads, said the little rooster to the little red hen. You haven't laid an egg in God knows when. Said the little red hen. To the little red rooster, you haven't come around as often as you used to. I think it's hysterical. It's like dirty plates from the 50s. All right, so what else am I going to show you? One sec. Oh, wait, here. Uh, next on my list, this little vase. Isn't that pretty? It's a little uh, gold on the edge. I just thought it was very, very pretty. I paid $1.50. And I was thinking of charging 15 for it. There's not a lot of them on the market. It's, a, it's called a Nantucket uh, bud vase. I just think it's very, very pretty. It's, it's porcelain. It's pretty. Little old lady stuff. Um, all right, so what's, on my, what's next on my list? Starbucks. Yeah, that's broken. I bought this little mug. It's one of the... Um, you were here mugs from uh, Hawaii, and then I, I was about to list it, and then I moved it, and I heard a little noise. The handle was cracked, so I'm going to throw that away. This one, I had to do some real serious, like, diving on the internet for this mug. Isn't that the coolest it logo? I mean, you recognize the fist, right? With the, with the uh, feathers and the turquoise arrowheads around that. Isn't that be beautiful? Uh, it's a, I paid 99 cents for it. Um, this symbol, I guess, is, stands for N8V. No idea what that means, right? N8V. Uh, and then the movement, the N8V movement. And I'm like, N8V. There is a cryptocurrency that, um, that uh, the Native Americans use to, to move currency around from like casinos and things like that. And apparently it's called N8V. But if you read... N8V, it looks like native, native, yeah. But I mean, it's a gorgeous mug. It's a gorgeous mug. Um, and there's actually a company, a website called N8V Movement, uh, and they actually sell that mug in black, I think for $16.95 or something. So I was thinking of charging um, $16 for it. I might charge more if it, or we'll see what happens with it. Um, never give up mug. I love this. I have to wash it. It's just a mug from Target. Big, deep mug, but it says never give up right there. I'm thinking of, um, cloud, sur cloud surfing Andy, but, um, when you're drinking the, out of this mug, when you're holding it to your face, that little message, 
is facing right at you. It's a nice, a nice little, remember not to give up. Um, I might keep it, I don't know, but um, another mug. Uh, I don't know what to charge for this. I don't know anything about this. Are you old enough to remember when Steve Forbes ran for president? Do you even know who Steve Forbes is? He was a businessman who ran for president, who probably wouldn't have been very good for us. But uh, he ran in 1996. Someone's going to be offended by that. Sorry. Um, he ran for president in 1996 and 2000. No one remembers him. So we'll see if this sells. I don't know. But I thought it was interesting. Speaking of businessmen and presidents. <laughs> Look at that. All right. Um, you're a great wife. Really terrific. Very beautiful, really fantastic. Other wives, total disasters. Everyone agrees. Believe me. I thought it was hysterical. There's a lot of different versions of this mug with different graphics. Um, and But um, I have no idea what I'll charge for it. I'm certainly not going to keep it. Someone's going to be offended by that too. Um, I found these. Now these are from, the I think, the 80s or the 90s. They're in perfect shape. Um, I can't get the sticker off without leaving it a little mess, but it's a, a glass. It's hard to see on camera uh, from the new Pioneer Club. There was the original Pioneer Club, but in the 60s, it was renamed uh, and renovated as the new Pioneer Club. And it, clo it was torn down. The building was actually torn down to make a parking lot, I think, for something. The Gold Nugget. Yeah, it was a parking lot for the Gold Nugget. But this is a play on the original glass that was made in the 50s. This was made in the 80s, maybe the 90s. I have four of them. And I think I'm going to charge like 60 bucks or something. I forget what I wrote down. I might have even wrote down 70. Uh, because they're, they're not, a, not a many around and in such fantastic shape. So I'm, I'll, we'll see what happens. If I, if I get paid for any of these, if anyone buys any of this, I'll be thrilled. As it is, I only have two things on my eBay page that people are uh, have actually bid for. So what else am I going to show you? The new Pioneer. Oh, this. Now, I saw this. Now, this is worth the entire video. Seeing this item is worth watching everything else before it. I was at Savers. I never go into Savers because they, they charge too much. <clears throat> but I went into Savers because Tiffany from Thrifting Vegas went into a Saver. So I went into Savers and I saw this and I could not walk away without it. <laughs> <laughs> look, at, look at how ugly is this. It reminds me of Lady Elaine from the Mr. Rogers TV show. But um, with the hat and the beard and the bag and this thing. I was almost thinking it, it was like an attempt at carving Christopher Columbus or something. I don't know. But it's a wood carving and you'll see it's hinged. It's got this little base. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that wild? It's like burnt out uh, and very, very used. So this is called, I had no idea what it was. I had to Google this a wine safe or a wine casket. How charming is that? So you would hide a box, because who would open, who would even look at this on purpose? So if you want to hide some booze, right? So that is something I could not walk away from. And you know, Savers charges way too much. This was $12 and it was a seal, because I think I'm going to try and charge $65 or $75 for this. Don't you want it? I mean, you gotta hide your booze. <laughs> uh, what else, what else, what else? All right, there's so much stuff to show you. Those are all the things I took notes on. These are the things I have not taken notes on and I have no idea what to charge for. But um, because I watch uh, Tiffany uh, at Thrifting Vegas, I recognize certain patterns in China. And this is one, isn't that pretty? <gasps> Doesn't that say buy me? It does. I know it does. It's a pa pattern called Forstoria, I think, um, in their um, American Cube pattern. 
and it's rose, it's pink. It's kind of like a rose. It's the color of rose um, crystal in their American uh, cube pattern. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I was tempted to keep it, but I'm gonna probably sell it. It does have the teeniest, tiniest, itsy bitsy, te really tiny little chip right here. Teeny, I mean, it's not even a chip, it's like a flea bite. It's teeny tiny, uh, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look, so pretty. Um, and I paid, I don't know, $4.99. I think I paid $4.99. The sun is going to start pulling through the uh, trees in front of my house, but just in time to see the pink crystal. All right, let's see if I can speed this up because the minute the sun penetrates those trees completely, you won't be able to see me because it's like a laser beam. All right, I backed up. That'll give me a few minutes. This, something that's so terrifically ugly that I had to buy it. Then I had to Google it. It was $9.99. Uh, and it is, if you recognize this, if you know anything about this or anything else you see, leave a comment below that might help me sell it. Uh, but it is greasy. It needs to be cleaned desperately. So it's like sticky, but it's all hand painted. Can you see in that sunlight? It's all hand painted. It's hand thrown. It's all handmade. That's hundred percent thrown on a wheel. Uh, and it's glazed on the inside. Um, I did a little bit of research and it looks like this might be a traditional Japanese piece of cookware. Um, the top, the lid, has those little cutouts there that I have to assume would turn into something of, I don't know, a plate? There's a little hole there. But would you put your refuse or something? I don't know why there would be sort of a lid that looks like the base of a pot, but I don't know. Is that a traditional pot? What would you do with it? How would you use it? Do you know? Leave a comment below. I would love to know more about it. Um, it's really neat. Um, if it weren't so floral, I would think about keeping it. And I know I'm wearing this shirt. It looks like it matches my shirt, actually. It kind of does. All right. Let's wrap. Oh, oh my God. The best, the best, the best. One sec. Oh, that I have to complain about so much sunlight flooding through my windows. Poor me, right? But, um, so I was at Goodwill, surprise, and I saw this. Now, if for some reason, Tiffany from um, uh, uh, Thrifting Vegas is seeing this. She knows immediately what it is. Do you recognize the brand? I do. Only because of Tiffany. Longer Burger. Longer Burger is apparently better known for their baskets. Um, and that is actually part of probably why this, this basket weave part is tied into their pottery, but apparently they make beautiful pottery. When I picked this bowl up, I was like, oh, that's a, that's a nice bowl. The glaze is beautiful. The thickness is gor gorgeous. It's just a beautifully balanced bowl. And I'm like, oh my God, I love it. And I Googled it. I mean, on uh, eBay and people pay a lot of money a lot of money for this bowl. And I was so excited. The next day, I'm at the same Goodwill. I see a smaller version of that same bowl. <gasps> oh my God, I'm so excited. I Google it. Super, I mean, people pay a lot of money for that bowl. And then, wait for it. Are you waiting? Look at this. I mean, huge. This is a huge bowl. I picked it up and I was like embracing it as if it were a lover. It's such a beautiful bowl. Um, there is a smaller version, like a six and a half inch. I don't even know how big this is. I have to measure it. But um, I found all three of them. They are unused. There's no use whatsoever. Um, and if you were to pop on eBay, Go ahead and Google, uh, search for Longer Burger Pottery, their um, bowls. Go ahead. Oh, after you watch this video. Ooh, they're valuable. So I found three of those. There's a fourth. I was thinking of actually buying on eBay to actually sell the whole set together because that would make 
a lot more money than I think I could the individual pieces, but we'll see what happens. And then um, today I was uh, filming a video about going to work uh, part of my day and I had to pass by that same Goodwill because I was just hoping, just hoping that the fourth bowl would, was, would be there. It wasn't, but I found this. It's a divided tray in the same um, pattern without the little blue mark, but um, just great. It's a different um, style of marking back here. I'm not sure which one is older or more desirable, but I thought this is a beautiful, beautiful piece of Longer Burger. Weird name. Uh, and weird that I'm starting to get very excited about a divided dish. I'm an old lady. I have completely uh, become an old lady. What else have I found? All right, so I am not going to include them in this video because this video is already too long, but um, I know I'm sorry, but um, I have two boxes full of barware, mostly pint glasses um, that are rare or difficult to find or very collectible. And um, I don't know who died and left their collection at Goodwill, but somebody was a big drinker. Um, boy, that sun is getting so bright. But I found these two that I'm going to show you. Um, I got these. They're called they're Kettle One glasses with the ultimate Bloody Mary um, recipe on the outside. They were both a dollar forty nine, and people pay a lot of money for these little glasses. Um, the barware, the pint glasses, I'm very excited about because um, there seems to be a lot of money in barware. Let me scoot over here out of the direct light. Um, I found these two. I'm going to wait until Christmas or maybe November to list these two things. But they are Mickey and Minnie. And look at look at the size of these mugs. They're gigantic. And they were $1.49 a piece. I don't know how much Disney charges for these, but I'll tell you. I'll be making a profit off of these mugs. Um, I suspect these will sell. It looks like they're unused, and who doesn't love a little Minnie and Mickey? How cute, right? So I'm looking for, they're enormous. Look at my hand, look at that. Another Disney mug. You have a special way of making people smile. Oh, I would like someone to say that about me. But um, I love the color. The inside's a very strange, creamy, uh, golden yellow. But um, these I've had listed on eBay. They did not sell. Um, they're relisted again. And uh, I picked these up because I thought they were vintage. And they look like something I would have used in the 70s growing up. But they're little glasses. Uh, and these are made by Anthrop or for Anthropology. And you know how expensive their things are? Well, apparently these are hugely desirable in the world. Um, I found six of them, six or eight of them, I forget. Uh, but I have those and they're all in perfect condition. There were seven of them at the store, but one had a massive chip in it. So I only got six, uh, but there, it's called the Helianthus collection, the sunflower collection. Uh, originally they came in four or five different colors, but the green is really the most attractive, I think. So. Um, I got six of these. I have these listed on eBay for $100. No one's bid for them yet. I might reduce that next time, but um, th that's a, a rational price for what uh, they have sold for um, so far. There's one more thing I want to show you, two more things I want to show you, but I have to go on eBay and find out what their comp prices are so I can tell you. But hold on one sec. All right, so... I went on eBay to find what a comparable price might be for these. It's a stack of bowls. They were marked at $9.99. They were half off, so $5. There's six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Four of them, a, a listing for four bowls is typically about $30. Um, so I would sell a set of, you know, four, two sets of four. Uh, for 30 each for a five dollar um, price tag not too shabby so far none of them have really sold that's the that's the kicker um, on eBay but that's what they're listed as if they don't sell I put them in my garage they'll sell in the future so I'm not too worried about it 
And one more thing I want to show you. Oh, I had to escape that sunlight. I went from very, very, very bright to a little dim. Sorry, but this is a Le Creuset sauce pot uh, that I got. It was six dollars. It's Le Creuset right there. Um, I don't recognize this lid. The lid does say the information it should say, Belgium and all that, uh, but it doesn't look like the pieces I'm familiar with. It's got a little loop instead of the finial, so I'm not quite sure, but um, it's cast iron covered in the same flame orange coloring. So is this really old or I don't know. The inside would belie uh, its age because it is really rough inside. It's clean. It's just that the enamel inside is just beaten to hell. Um, I've cooked vinegar and water in it to kill anything and I've used it a couple times. It's amazing on my induction stove burner. It's got this little safety lid, uh, safety handle. That was six dollars. That's a portrait of my cat buddy. The last thing I'm going to show you, the last thing I am going to show you is really I think the piece that makes me the most excited. I was at Goodwill just this afternoon and um, I was about to leave with one little item that wasn't terribly exciting and they pulled a cart out and you know here you hear that telltale sound, sound of a cart. So I just, just kind of walked over leisurely because I don't want to like attack like some people do. And there was just a young lady putting these out, a whole bunch of them, onto a shelf. And I was, I was sort of walked over, curious. It's a hydro flask, a new one. This is the label. This is the paper label you would take off. It's a brand new, unused hydro flask. Doo -doo. Can you read that? Five ninety nine. Do you know how much they sell for on Amazon? Do you know how much they sell for on eBay? A lot more than five ninety nine. A lot, lot more. Um, so I bought, I picked up like four of them and put them in my cart. And there were maybe twenty five of them. I took four of them, thinking these will sell. I mean, the, a whole bunch of them have sold. They're very easy to sell on eBay. So I had grabbed four of them. And I walked back and I grabbed a few more and then I just decided, you know, why I could probably make $15, $20 each profit on these things. So I grabbed 10 and like, that's a lot of money to spend to eat at um, Goodwill. And then I'm like, if I could make an easy profit, why not? So I grabbed 15 and then I grabbed uh, one more just for, <laughs> for myself on the condition that the rest of them sell. So I wanted one for myself, uh, but I got uh, 15 of these uh, in this fantastic color uh, and they're all brand new. How could you not? Oh, look, it almost matches my outfit. Um, how could you not buy a ton of them? I left like six of them for other people to buy. I don't feel guilty at all, uh, but that's it. That is, I know it's a lot of stuff, right? Uh, so that is my Goodwill haul. Some of the prices I paid, some of what I expect to pay. Um, and again, I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier. If you are, hear me th say, I'm going to charge like, you know, 50 bucks for something I paid a dollar fifty for. These are the prices I see people pay on eBay. Um, I'm not going to um, lowball my prices. I mean, I won an auction on a handlebar mustache. Oh, wait, let me show you what I bought. I saw this at um, Goodwill and I bought it for myself because I couldn't resist it. Will that will that be my thumbnail for the for the video? Um, I could not resist it. Hello, it's a mug with a double. It's a, but the sticker was on this spot. Can you see right here? This is shattered. It's like almost loose. If I twisted this mustache, this would fall into pieces. But I was so in love with it, I went on eBay and looked for one, and I won one for 99 cents. I have to pay shipping, of course, but um, so I'm, gonna, I'm getting another one of these that's not going to shatter if I touch it, um, but I couldn't resist it. Um, but um, when I go on to eBay and I'm going to list something, I'm going to list the price a price that seems rational for what other people have already paid. I'm not out there creating artificial prices that seem just outrageous. Um, except for the, 
except for the chair. I have this orange chair uh, that I got at Goodwill for $7. If you haven't seen that video, uh, I bought this chair for $7 and it it's listed in a number of places on the internet for $1,500. I have it on eBay right now for $9.50 uh, for a buy now price of $1,300, I think. Um, but that is a price that people would list other pieces like it for. So I'm not going to lowball myself and blah, blah, blah. So um, I'm going to end this video now because it's probably already been tedious for most of you. But thank you very much for joining me. And um, I will see you, my regulars, I will see you soon. I'm uh, on a work trip tonight going to Tampa. Um, after I talk to you, it is five o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to take a nap for about an hour hour and a half and then scoot off to work where I go to Tampa, uh, where I get to spend the entire layover listing these things on eBay. That's what I'm doing tonight. But blah, 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 blah. Thank you for joining me and I will see you again soon. Toodaloo. Bye. Fly safe. Almost forgot to say it.